Welcome, Mark with Diesel Laptops here. In this video we're going to run a system scan then directly connect to a specific module. We start by opening the desktop launcher by double clicking on the icon, and then we're going to open up JAL Test Software by double clicking on its icon. Once the JAL Test Software is launched, we arrive at the connector screen, and all you have to do here is choose the connector that you use to hook your communication box up to your vehicle. It's important to know that I have already made the proper connection, I have already registered my JAL Test Kit, and I have activated the expert mode. If you have not done these, please back up and review those video sections. To proceed, we're going to click on the heavy duty 9 pin, and then I'm prompted to do either a system scan or a system scan plus read fault codes, and click proceed at the bottom right once you've made your choice. Once our system scan has been completed, we are notified up here at the top. It's detected 20 different modules. So if we scroll down here, we can see a list of all of our modules that were detected during the system scan. You can expand these modules to view the fault codes, but we go over this in detail in the system scan video. So if you are unfamiliar, you missed that video, please go back and review it if you want to see the rest of the system scan options. Right now, we're going to cover directly connecting to a module. So we just pick the module that we want to directly connect to by clicking on it. You can double click or click it once and then come up to the top and click connect. Once we're directly connected to that module, we can come in here and we can read fault codes, clear fault codes, view system data, monitoring, parameters, maintenance, configuration, and our data recorder. Also on the left hand side, we have access to the system technical data, wiring diagrams, vehicle service data, and then these applications with a globe beside them. These are part of a 14 day trial period from the day that you registered your jaw test kit. Please check those out. They're very helpful. And if you like them, you can always call into our sales department or directly into jaw test to get set up with that subscription. So first off, our system technical data. When I click on this icon here, we can get all of our technical data about things uh, related to this module. On the left hand side, we can go into our wiring diagrams. We're going to have our ECM displayed here in the center for us with its pins all labeled out for us. And then our components on the left and right hand sides. Very nice, easy to read wiring schematics. Zoom in, zoom out, adjust the width, rotate the page. You can see your legend by clicking on the question mark icon here. And this will give you everything you need to know about this wiring schematic and how to read it. And you can filter your results on the left hand side. We can click the X up here to exit out. And then at any time we want to go back to our diagnostic menu, just click on the diagnostic menu tab here. Vehicle service data, you can view all your maintenance intervals and all that good stuff. Just come in and hit the plus sign to expand and then just filter this out however you need to specific to your vehicle. We'll go back to our diagnostic menu. To read fault codes, we'll click on the read fault code menu. We'll have a red or a yellow X here. If it's red, that means it's an active fault. Then we have our OEM fault code information as well as a description. We have three icons on the right hand side, an information button, which gives us freeze frame data related to that fault code a help button, which is a question mark, and then this wrench with a question mark and a globe. That's part of the 14 day trial period along with these other applications. So when we click on the fault code and we go to information, which is our freeze frame data, we have our priority level, the date that it last occurred, the hours that it last occurred, the warning lamp status, and the system state. You can search through this. The question mark icon, if we click on this, this tells us that our coolant level sensor or our common powertrain controller, if we click on coolant level sensor, we can access a wiring schematic that's specific to that component. So there is our sensor highlighted for us, and we can see the pins on the ECM. Remember, you can navigate through here using the options on the right hand side. Now to get back, we'll go to our diagnostic menu, and we'll click back. You can erase fault codes, or try to erase fault codes. They have to be inactive. If they're active, they're not going to clear. You can try using the trash can here to clear the fault codes, or if we exit out of here, we can go into the clear fault code section. From here, you can hit check mark to accept and clear the fault codes. Then we can hit the X to cancel. You can always go back to your active fault codes by clicking this little stethoscope and that brings us back to our read fault codes. And then we can exit out of here. Next, system data. When we click on this, this is going to be all the information about our ECM. Click on the ECU data and this brings up everything. This is all read only, but there's some good information in here, including the VIN number, part numbers. It just kind of depends on the vehicle that you're connected to and what it displays. And then we can exit out of here and we can hit the back arrow to go back. Monitoring, if we click on this, we have our live data selection. From here, we can hit it set and you can filter out different groups. You can filter out your temperatures by clicking or unselecting. And likewise with all these other options. We're gonna go through and individually select parameters. You can add triggers and then we can come over here to the right hand side. We can hit the interactive view. You can pause by hitting the pause button and hit play to resume. You can save this to your diagnostic report 
and then you can add comments to it as well, or we can hit the check mark to accept and back out. Under parameters, we can come in here and we can display our parameters and we can view these. If we want to view our cruise control speed, we can view it from here. We can hit the check mark to accept. And then if we want to modify any parameters, come down here to modify parameters and click the plus sign. You can come in here and this is where you will be changing those parameters. So if we want to change our maximum vehicle speed, double click on here. As we see, we need expert mode to be activated. Click I have read and accepted the terms and conditions of use and then punch in your expert mode password. If you're not sure what this is or you haven't set it up, please view the video about setting up and activating expert mode. So I'm going to type in my expert mode password here. Click activate. And now I'm going to run through some important notes. Once I've read those, I can hit the check mark on the right hand side. And now I can set maximum vehicle speed. Check mark. It's going to ask me for the legal speed limit. We're going to say our maximum vehicle speed. And then click the check mark to accept. It'll let you know if it is completed successfully or not. And hit the check mark again to get back to the main menu. This is just that easy to change a parameter. Exit out of here. And we can exit out of here. Under the maintenance section is where you're going to come to launch regens and things of that nature. Easy enough to do. Just click on particulate filter regen. We can select that we have read and accepted the terms and conditions of expert mode and hit accept. It's going to give us some information here about this regen and different parameters that need to be met during the application. And we'll hit the check mark. Make sure all these initial conditions and interlocks are met. If they are not met, you'll have a red bell here and it will not run this procedure. So you need to have check marks here, green check marks. There we go. We just saw it for a moment. Click the check mark here. Continue. That's going to give us more information about this and then our parameters here listed out below. Very important to know that if you have any active fault codes, if the temperatures are not up to par, or if any of the interlocks are not met, it will not run this procedure. Over on the right hand side, we can go and look at a graph view. You can pause the graph for a moment. You can filter out what is displayed on the graph by selecting or deselecting these boxes here with the legend of what they are reading. You can look at your live data and numerical value here below and resume play by hitting the play button and you can zoom in and zoom out on the graph. We can also hit the back arrow and we can view it as a dashboard view. So if I hit these gauges here, we have a nice overview of our after treatment system with all of our live data incorporated into it. Pretty neat little tool. We can back out and then we can back out of here. Now keep in mind, the regen process may or may not let you know that it's finished depending on the manufacturer. It may just go back to an idle condition. You may have to manually exit out of that procedure. This is asking us if we want to save the graph to our product report. We'll click yes, and we're going to go over that in just a moment. The check mark to accept, and we can back out of here. Under configuration, we can do things like expand all actions, and we can clear passwords, general vehicle speed, and we can minimize these by clicking the minus sign, then click the arrow on the right hand side. Lastly, we have our data recorder. Come in here, and we can record up to 30 minutes of 24 measurements. Click the check mark, hit upset. Now we can select all of our data, but if we want to, we have to select 24 of these at one time or less. We're going to go ahead and select eight of them. We'll hit the check mark. We can read fault codes from here. We can view our system data and then monitoring. We'll click over to monitor. Put some of our parameter data here. Look at our system data and read our active fault codes. Come back to monitoring. We can come over to the right hand side and we can view our live data. We can hit the back arrow and we can always exit out of here. Hit it set to play or we can hit cancel for now. Thank you very much for viewing. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our tech support at 888-983-1975, option 2. Have a great day.